Hello, Matt here. In today's episode, we'll start with this cheap rally car build. Let's go. So few words about the car. 1990 Citroen AX. Why this car? Well, I think it's a perfect entry level rally car because it's very light. It was very cheap. And this one is a very nice base because it's a one owner never crashed did have some rust on the door but nothing major all in all a good base and it will get me into the lowest class how is that well it's a 1.4 we have uh, these r6 yamaha carbs ready to go hopefully we'll get them to work and yeah with a nice exhaust and everything we should be at around 100 horsepower enough for a start the plan is to get it for around 5000 euro which might sound a lot, but uh, only the cage and all the other safety stuff we need. So harnesses, seats, they need to be FIA approved. Uh, roll cage needs to be FIA approved. And we went with a massive roll cage, eight point roll cage. You'll see it once it arrives, which we probably won't be welding ourselves because I don't have the skill to do that. That will be left to the professionals. But yeah, Barca just named like two and a half thousand euros so this car was 100 110 euros something like that so a good start we do have the suspension for it brakes but more on that when we come to that now we start the work with the body and first thing well it's a modification I want to make I want this removable to make working on the engine a lot easier then I can take the engine out get to work on it and send the car to have the roll cage fitted but as I said we need this removable and this should be a pretty simple job. The idea is to drill all the spot welds and all of this will need to go off. This will stay attached. This will stay attached to the car. So all this, uh, hopefully we get it to work with eight or 10 bolts, which means with eight or 10 bolts, I can remove everything. Just disconnect cooler, two hoses, and remove everything and have clean access to the engine let's start with the drilling and then i'll show you the plan on how to get this mounted here we are the front is off not my one of my best works i need right and need it to work but here we are now i need to clean uh, the insides of these rails here then we'll build a plate right here supporting this the same here supporting that one down so we have a bit of CAD this is a very simple design this will be and then plate like this and that's basically it then we can start prepping everything once I weld in this end plate I will drill a big hole through middle of it or two holes so I can I don't know I'll see but for now uh, let's put this into metal and uh, yeah great part about this is that I don't even need to do a second one just flip it over and it will work like that there all done it'll be something like this I need to fix them in place seam weld all of, all the way here a few plug welds seam weld up there this should be good there we have it all done this haven't welded in yet because I think I'll drill this through and I think that will be the solution uh, so a bolt or a stud from this side welded on this side uh, one here and one here so that's three we have a fourth one here and I think that should be enough we'll see eight bolts actually studs welded in uh, so I can just put the nuts on that's it but this is sturdy plenty sturdy um, most important part this is now sturdy so that will work actually I think I'll drill plug these holes and just build backing plates here too and backing plates with captive nuts inside so I can just drill a hole here and have a one more, more bolt from this side so going through tying it all together down here oh this side is also done so there's that this is now in place and here's the plan 
I will need a bolt here because it doesn't really want to hold. And this one is below the, uh, what's that called? Bumper. So it won't be in the way. So one bolt here, we'll make that work. One bolt down here, one bolt up here. And then, as I mentioned previously, we need to cap this off and then we'll have one bolt in here. That, and of course the one holding the fender up here, that should be sturdy enough. Then I can close up all of these holes, all of these holes, because I won't be using a bolt here in the end. I don't think there's a need for it. I think this is the best solution, so. But yeah, let's, let's call it a plan for now. And uh, let's get drilling. All right, first two bolts holding on. Uh, as I mentioned, this really needs to be reinforced. I need to straighten out this a bit more, get it to work with headlight and uh, blinker, side repeater, whatever you call that. I need to plug all of these holes. And I will make a hole right here so I can uh, protect the chassis leg with wax or whatever we'll put in there. I forgot I had these. Now I have this. Damn. Way better. Now let's do that over here after we fit that. And before that we need to drill the holes and repeat everything we did here. New plan. This now seems pretty sturdy once it's all bolted. So no need for another one here. We'll just weld these holes, plug them, these holes too. These holes, as I said, but here's my new plan. I mean, this now isn't too bad. I do want to use these washers, but uh, weld it onto this. So I need to clean this up, make them here and weld them in. So that's a bit sturdier. And of course, as I mentioned down here, we need to do as planned. Oh, we're getting there. Still need to weld in nut right here because as you can see I did weld in one nut here and one over here. So that makes the bolting point a bit more sturdy. And yeah, it holds it better. But I don't know how I'll weld them in here because I cannot reach it. At least I cannot do it like this. And it's not smart like this because did get bent a bit, so there's that too. But I will try to take it on free, in three places or something, and another one there, and then this shall be it. This has been welded a bit, so there aren't any holes. A bit of bondo later will work fine. Uh, yeah, let me finish all this and then I'll show you everything. Final thing about this build, I have the end caps with captain nuts inside. Oh, also this model from the back. You'll see, once it's finished, even my crappy welds will look okay. I have a check for that. Now the hard part. I need to get this marked so I can drill a hole down here. And how I'll do that is I'll probably stick a bolt inside uh, with, I don't know. Let me think this through. This is the thinnest bolt I can find. That's eight mil. We'll put some green paint on it, put everything back together. And then see how deep it goes. And it should be marked now. And yes, that's the spot where I'll drill and we'll see if it fits. So let's drill it here. And now hopefully for a final fit. Should go on easily. So we have lower part, quite solid, all fitted. Now just two bolts up here and that's it. Eight bolts, this all, so far eight hours and a bit less. 
and well okay uh, the fabrication part is done we need some body filler we need some paint and it will work but yeah if you want to do something like that just so you know I mean every fabrication job takes time so but it really makes me happy knowing that I can take this off in about like two minutes so there's that one eternity later just a quick update of what I'm up to body filler seam sealer and that's about it now that everything dries up I mean there's a bunch of body filler here too here here and on the other side uh, once everything dries up I need to send all this down prepare it for paint basically it will need a bit more work but you know what I mean as I said I will paint it when I'm painting the engine base so close to paint and I need to put a bit of seam sealer here and this is so boring and so tedious and so dirty that I don't film any of these usually when I do that so I'm coming back to you after what seems like sanding a thousand hours we are mostly there as I said a bit of now I can't remember how it's called that thing that goes on the welds whatever a bit of paint base paint primer paint whatever you call that and all of this well I'll... there we have it for now this is done as I said I have to paint the complete engine bay and then we will paint everything else for now it's protected it's smooth as it can get and let's see how it works it would be better if everything was dry but whatever I'll just put it on Everything was dry. And that's it, front end is mounted. That was the point of all of this, so I can easily mount and dismount the front end. Now, yeah, of course you do need to adjust these a bit more, but...
see? Actually, once they are bolted in, they aren't bolted in now because I was doing all this shit. When they are bolted in here and here, there will, won't be much of a need for adjustment. So yeah, this is it. This is what we've been doing. Uh, quick, simple, and yeah, it took quite a lot of work to get here. Uh, eight hours of fabrication, and I have at least four or five now getting this straightened, uh, body filled, seam sealer on, and this first layer of paint to protect it all. So yeah, but all in all, it's done. And this is just the beginning, as I mentioned, this will be a rally car, cheap, around 5,000 euro rally car. So yeah, time to get there. And if you want to see if we make this a relic car, uh, why not subscribe? Also, if you enjoyed this one, uh, please give it a like, share, helps uh, with the views, helps with the channel, and the bigger the channel, the bigger the projects, and the crazier the things we do. Anyways, as I said, for now this is it. Thank you for watching, and well, as always, hope to see you in the next one. Bye.